Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create individual outputs for the drum machine in Reaper. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to create a drum machine in Reaper using Resample Matic 5000, which is the sampler that comes with Reaper. And we created this right over here with a kick, a snare, a clap, a few hi-hats, and even a synth. If we leave the synth off, it sounds like this. But with the synth, it sounds like this. But the one negative of how we set this up is all the sounds are in one track. So it makes it harder to change the volume of them, their panning, or even add different effects to each of them. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that by creating individual outputs for the drum machine. So the first thing we're going to do is go back to the track effects. Let's start with the kick and check out the plugin pin connector for the kick sound right here. And it looks like this with our outputs going to one and two. Let's leave it like that for the kick, but let's change it for the other sounds. Starting with the snare, we want to send this out to a different set of outputs. So we can create more for this track right over here. Let's take it out of one and two because we're using those for the kick. And now our snare is coming out of three and four. We'll do the same thing for the claps, but we'll send this out five and six and take it off one and two and the hi-hats We'll go to seven and eight. Turn these off. And both hats will go to seven and eight. So we'll do the same with the open hi hat. But for the synth, we'll use nine and ten. Add two more and take them out of one and two. But if we play it back now, we're only going to hear the kick. Because the output of this track set up for two channels. But let's turn that off using the master parent send right here. And now we should hear nothing. We're still seeing it on the meters going out to multiple outputs, but we're not actually hearing it. So now we should make more tracks and send these outputs to those tracks. So let's create five more by double clicking and name them Kick, snare, claps, hi hat, and synth. And now we need to send the outputs of this track to these. So we'll grab the routing and drop it on the kick. And by default, it sends from one and two to one and two, which is good for the kick. But let's turn off the MIDI. We don't need that. So if we play it now, We hear the kick from this track. Let's do the same for the snare, but switch this to three and four. Turn off the MIDI. The kick's from here, and the snare is going here. Do the same for the claps, five and six. Turn the MIDI off, the hi-hat will be 7 and 8, and finally, the synth will be 9 and 10. So let's hear it back.
Perfect. But now we can readjust the volumes in the mixer right over here. Let's turn off all these and work with the kick. But not only can we adjust the volumes, we can adjust anything else for each sound, like the panning, or even add effects to each sound, like the snare, let's add an EQ, we'll go to re-EQ right here, and let's boost the top end. And the lower mids. Let's add another EQ for the hi hat and make it brighter. And even add effects like reverb or delay. Let's go to our synth and add some reverb. I'll use. Reverberate right here. Bring up the dry, bring down the wet. Let's try some delay. Read delay. We'll use an eighth note and we'll pan it to the left. Add another one that's twice as long and pan that to the right. Bring down the wet. We have a delay and a reverb, but just on the synth. It's not affecting the other sounds, even though they're all playing from this track. Maybe you get a different reverb for the claps. And just like that, we have different effects and volumes for each one of our sounds from our drum machine. And if you want to save this to use it again, all we have to do is select all these tracks, right click, and save it as a track template. We'll call it Drum Machine. And if we delete all this, and if we're in a project where we want to use that drum machine, just right click over here, insert track from template, and choose the drum machine. And it'll bring in all those tracks. So we have the sounds right here. But they still have all the effects on the individual parts, along with their volume and the panning. So if you want to record a new part, you're ready to go. And just like that, we can create a new part using the same drum machine as before, with the same outputs and all the same effects, volume panning, EQ, or even reverb or delay, set up exactly how we left it. So that's pretty much it. That's creating individual outputs for the Reaper drum machine. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.